I strongly feel we are what you eat, what we drink is the most important thing. So I do the eating natural food as much as uh, p possible, and anything come from ground, and not the process anything. With the heat, you see also that the we drink good water. That's the two things we have to do. We, I'm talking about the uh, you are what you eat, what you drink, you know. But where does the food come from? That's uh, from the soil, right? From nature. If we spoil the nature, we cannot keep a good health. So we have to really pay attention how you, we keep raise the uh, proper healthy plants. So it's the uh, enzyme is not only for your digestion absorption of the uh, your uh, the, you know food, but the maintenance of your entire uh, body health through the. Uh, we call it homeostasis, see? The balancing your body. Yeah? That's why it's so important not to take too much chemicals, not to overeating, and uh, mostly that way, see? This is, if you take this uh, capsule, five capsule, uh, about 30 minutes, you feel so hungry already. Yeah? So that's, these things are good for digestion, and uh, mainly, so we have to take an uh, enzyme for digestion and another things for detoxification and to you know to make uh, resistant for the uh, like uh, the uh, the bacteria uh, the virus infections and the cancers you know the allergy and the uh, autoimmune system all kind of things we have to have the strength that's the enzyme this powder, polarized things. This one, and the one I have a liquid. The um, one of my scientists are trying to the make a capsule from that. So maybe it's easier to take it. But uh, these capsule, this uh, enzyme, uh, he discovered in the deep mountain of the uh, island of the Kyushu, and. Uh, he he found probably over 100 uh, uh, the bacteria, series of bacteria. He uh, cultivate and the large amount of bacteria. Then they make this uh, enzyme. So enzyme is the one uh, making from the bacteria itself, not the from materials. Eh? So bacteria ones uh, the contains a lot of enzymes. So that the uh, good bacteria and the bad bacteria, how they determine? Bad bacteria contains a lot of uh, strong oxidizing enzymes. And the good bacteria to help our human body for health, like this kind of products, one is contains very strong antioxidant uh, bacteria, you know, the, uh, the uh, enzymes they have in the their bacteria's body. Yeah. So you are, our in intestinal tract, we have about, uh, uh, as I said, the 300, 100 uh, trillion bacteria. Yeah. This one producing a lot of enzymes in our intestinal tract, help, helping uh, to maintain our health. Enzyme contains a lot of strong antibacterial Antivirus, anti-cancer, anti-allergy, and anti-autoimmune, you know, the diseases. This are all contained. So, the, as I said before, in the future, near future, or in this century, probably medical medicine itself is instead of giving a lot of prescription, drug prescription, I think a more like a more like a. a uh, you know, this type of enzyme treatment to the natural heal type of things.